Tuesday, 19th. Okay, so this morning it was a pretty um, slow morning. I kept Henry with me for a couple of hours and um, we just had some time together before he went into nursery. So he's went in late, it's now about half 11. So he's gone in a bit later, but when I'm not at work, I like him to have short days. So he only goes in for about four hours or so. And it gives him enough kind of like social time, play time to be beneficial. Um, but it also gives us some time together too. So we had a nice morning. And he's now in nursery. I popped off to buy a few stocking fillers and things like that on the way home. And now I'm in the sewing room pinning together the lining currently for my dewy dress, which is the Cashmerette Club pattern from last month, I think it was, or this month. Maybe it was just this month. I've lost track, probably was this month, um, because I don't remember anything else coming out there after. And yeah, I'm hoping that I can get this sewn up in the next hour or two, um, and then get a move on with the pajamas that I still haven't made for. Henry and if I'm really really good I'm hoping before Christmas to make some new ones for Simon too. I made him some brushed cotton pajama bottoms last year which I've got a lot of wear which is great um, but I think a new pair isn't gonna hurt so that's another thing on the list. If this dress works out to be as delightful as I imagine and I hope I am going to make another one of these for um, the Christmas New Year period. And I know I've only got what, five days left to do that, but I'm hoping somewhere in between I can sort that out. Um, I still have a lot of shopping to do. I have all like my food plans to do. I need to sit down and think what recipes I am going to be making this year. Um, last year, because I'd just come home from the hospital, I had planned ahead and everything was pretty much ordered and ready to be picked up. but. I quite like the rush of, of Christmas shopping. I like going out there on Christmas Eve early on and getting everything that I need. Um, but that reminds me I need to order some dried pears. They're really hard to get around here. I don't know what it is. Even the health stores don't have dried pears. And I make a lovely chestnut and pear stuffing for my goose. So I need to get that sorted today, hopefully too. Um, this evening, I will not be sewing because this evening I am going to a school concert. And you're like, school? Henry's not in school yet. No, but <laughs> I'm I'm on the Board of Governors of a local primary school and it is the Christmas concert tonight. So we're going out for that. Um, and that'll be lovely just to see the kids showing off all of their accomplishments, the things that they've been practicing over the last couple of um, months, over the last few weeks. So yeah, I've also got a cold. Great, got a cold. Um, but I have coffee. And, and, and what's wrong when you've got coffee? Everything goes okay. So I'm going to enjoy this, do a little bit of stitching, and hopefully come back and report a little bit of progress to you guys later. Right, so about an hour and a half later. What time is it? It's about one o'clock. It's done. I really like it. I've tried it on. It fits really, really beautifully. And I just love this fabric. It is like liquid. I have no other word for it. It's like a liquid. Look at the way it moves and the shine of it. So yeah, it's done. Um, I was really careful with the pressing because I wasn't sure about the fabric, whether or not it would be liable to burn. So I've kept the heat quite low and I've, I've been fine. There's been no issues. Um, but I think I might get a little bit more risky later on and just iron the armholes on a higher heat just where the seams meet um, because they're not sitting perfectly for me at the moment. Actually, that one's okay. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm really fussy about things like that. But there she is, lovely, lovely, lovely pleats at the shoulder, lovely pleats here at the overskirt. There's an underskirt. There is no possibility of gaping, look at that. So yeah, she's done, she's pretty. I'm gonna go and I'm going to have a nice relaxing lunch make something particularly tasty for this time of year and hopefully be back soon and see what else I can get up to before I pick up Henry. I think I'll go for him at about 3, 3.30 and um, give us lots of time together before we go out to the Christmas concert later. So check in soon. Well, it's now December 20th. I did not get a chance to upload um, my vlog last night. So here we are. 
if I look dishevelled, it's because I am. I just braved the storm that is literally raging outside. It is so bitter, so cold to pay a visit to the recycling bin because with all of the PDFs I'd been using the last few days, um, yeah, the bin was overflowing. And I think that's the downside. I just feel sometimes that I'm just wasting so much paper when you're throwing parts of it away. And it's the same kind of guilt complex I had when I was finishing off my PhD and I printed off my thesis. And I think I had to print it four times. And with all the drafts and stuff that you print too, I mean, that was a lot of paper. And so to ease my guilt and to appease my conscience, I planted a couple of trees. And I think with sewing, the time has come to um, perhaps plant a couple of trees again. Um, I do think I need to plant a couple of things in the garden anyhow. Um, you know that this house has been extended significantly. It's now over twice the size of its original um, cottage status. But the outside needs so much work. And to be honest, I'm not a gardener. I make things die simply by looking at them. It must be that garden gorgon stare that I have. I don't know. But things don't really grow for me. And it's probably because I haven't taken the time to research what I need to do to look after them. Um, but there's other things to be doing right now. So that hasn't been a priority. But I do, I would love to have at least a rose garden because to me that ties me to my grandmother. Um, there's a greenhouse that's totally not utilised and I used to grow my own vegetables so I really ought to make more use of that and maybe in the spring, summer months I'll get motivated. Um, but we'll see. It's not my priority in winter, that's for sure, when outside is literally so miserable. I regret having made plans to go out this afternoon. Um, well, I don't really, because I'm going to meet a couple of friends. So you can never regret that, but just going outside, it's so dismal. Um, I'm really dreading that part of it. So what time is it anyhow? I don't even know what time of the day we are on. I've just got home about 20 minutes ago from leaving Henry off at nursery. So it's, yeah, it's coming up to 11 o'clock and I have started sewing. I started stitching up the little um, pajamas that I was making in with this Cookie Monster Elmo. Um, print and I thought they'd be cute for Christmas Eve and the pattern that I did print off on the end I think it's called sew a little seam movie night pajamas or something like that I'll check out and, and link below so yeah yesterday got my dress finished and I think I showed it to you I, I really can't remember everything's blur but what I'll do is I'll pop a couple of pictures in because I wore it out um, to the concert last night. So the concert at the school was absolutely wonderful. The children were incredible. It's so nice to see talent fostered um, by good teachers and good teaching practice. So that's always reaffirming for me as someone who sits on a board of governors to know the, the energy and the effort that is expended by teaching staff um, to ensure that children get to fulfill their full potential. It's absolutely lovely. Um, but yeah, no actual sewing got done last night. So I have the little pajama bottoms here, prepped, just ready to stitch up. And then that'll be another little job ticked off the list. And then I'm going to cut out another dewy dress because I love it. So yes, pictures of the dewy dress. Yeah, I took some. So I'll be able to show you what it looks like on. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful, really like it. And I would like to have a few more in the wardrobe. I think it is interchangeable with, I believe it's the Grafton dress that was released, what, maybe last month. So I might have to buy a copy of that just to, you know, work with sleeves and maybe change up the skirt or something a little bit. I think there was a nice bodice in it as well, with like a square neckline. So it might be worth looking at now to have a little bit of time over the winter holidays. Another thing I've managed to get finished, and bear in mind, I finished stitching this about two, three weeks ago. I just didn't get around to finishing it. So the actual stitching had been done. But here is my October's box for my cotton and twine cross stitch subscription. And isn't it really, really cute? Another festive project to put up around the house. I think I have like four or five of them around the house. Um, and it's just a really nice addition to the, the handmade elements of Christmas in the home. So I'll get that up later this afternoon. And apart from that, what have I got to share with you right now? I've had a delivery. So when I ran out to throw out some of the recycling, 
I also ran into the postman because I scooted around the front of the house, even though it was bitter, um, to feed the birds. So, um, priorities. It's getting cold, so they'll need a little bit of help. And I got a delivery from Fluiors. So I ordered myself a little fabric for um, after Christmas because the next holiday type thing coming up is Valentine's Day. And even though it's not a holiday, I take it as a holiday every year. Um, but she had just uploaded it before she closed her shop for an extended break, um, the new range of art gallery fabrics. I think the collection is called Love Struck. And to me, it's got a very similar feel to the, the Halloween collection, only romanticized and put on a different color palette. And again, I'm not a pink person, unless like this, it's on a black um, or a navy base but I loved this fabric so I have bought myself enough to make a dress in this lovely print so it's a cotton lawn and art gallery fabrics cotton lawns are a really beautiful quality um, I've worn quite a few of them now but it's not quite a nice sweet print and I thought that would be a good addition to my Valentine's Day romantic themed um, wardrobe. I got a few little pieces um, like rose prints and heart prints and things like that so it's nice the motifs are beautiful you've got your roses, love potion, heart keys, swallows, um, love hearts, portraits of dogs and cats as well as um, the queen of hearts and matches and things like that really really cute very feminine um, very pretty I like it a lot and then the other thing I bought, just because um, I like a surprise now and again, was that Kaylee had a pile of fat quarters and she was just doing them in little random bundles. So it was like a surprise and I chose the dark colours. There was different kinds of like brights and darks and neutrals and things like that. So I went for the darks as is typical for me. So let me just show you some of the little bits of fabric that I have got here. So nice to see actually there's some planes as well for coordinating so this one is a Lizzie Clark designs root veggies perfect for making anything kind of like kitchen gardening related speaking of gardening and there's a lovely um, green there to pair with that there's also this really really pretty I think this is a dashwood print because I looked at it before um, will the salvage tell me it is dashwood I remember looking at this and thinking I'm going to buy it to make a dress out of it, but I didn't need any more Christmas fabrics. So here's a lovely little amount just to make a tiny little project. And again, there is a green that kind of coordinates with that so they could be paired off together. I think only those two have coordinated fabrics. No, there's one more in there, but that's fine because I've got loads of those in my stash anyhow. The next one then is a Cloud Nine. This is lovely. So it's got cats and dogs and botanicals. Really pretty. I'll definitely use that for something. Really cute. I like little surprises. And I think it was like 10 pounds for a lot of these, which is lovely. Another botanical themed, this time with bees, which I love. I do love bees. I'm actually working on a project at work at the moment, um, a biodiversity project about um, making our green spaces in a couple of our libraries um, more pollinator friendly. So we've been planting spring bulbs with children from local schools and we are um, putting in like wildlife habitats, so like hedgehog, hedgehog houses and bat boxes and bee boxes and insect boxes and that kind of thing. So yeah really really cute possibly add it to some bunting because we got some beautiful outdoor furniture as well for the spaces so I was planning on making some bunting that can go up in the you know warmer months there's a lovely one here as well I think this is art gallery if I am um, I could be wrong let me see no it's not it's dashwood but it has a real art gallery feel to it so I've got swans and tangerines very wintry Lovely. And then there's a black. Yay! Because you can always have some black cotton in your stash. And again, then, um, like a Halloween print that has a bit of celestial theme going on. Really nice. And then another Halloween print. So I think this was Art Gallery Fabrics for sure. 
me see this one here so that's nice that's very kid friendly as well so that would make something nice for Henry yeah that's my little stash of fuck quarters that came along with my art gallery um, Valentine's fabric so I'm sure I will find uses for all of those no I'll go and finish my pyjamas and see what we get up to then once I get back from seeing my friends. Okay, so this is just a very quick hello and goodbye. I'm back. It must be about half past nine. Um, so, yeah, when I went to pick up Henry from nursery, we just went out for coffee and cake um, afterwards. So by the time I got home, it was like sort out the dogs, make the dinner. Nothing else is getting done tonight, I'm going to be honest. Um, and earlier on, I literally spent about an hour after lunch just doing a little bit of my cross stitch. So hopefully I'll get that finished before Christmas. But yeah, earlier I did manage to finish off the little pyjama bottoms to go with the little pyjama top. And of course, whenever they're being worn by their little model, I'll share those with you. But yeah, I'm signing off this evening. Um, Henry is just in that phase where he's going to sleep um, so he's with his dad and I'll take over now in a second once I hit the upload button um, but yeah catch up with you tomorrow see you soon bye bye